Hey everyone, it's Ryzen. And Liz. And welcome back to Let's Play Eternal Sonata. Well, let's go ahead and uh, go through this area here. We got some chickens. Oh, you can actually talk to the chickens? I never knew that. <laughs> I was just clicking around to mess around. Anyway, let's go up the stairs to the right. I think this guy is a shop. Oh, uh, guess, I guess yeah. not. I guess there aren't any shops here. Uh, but anyway, let's go up and go into this house. And like all good games, we're going to steal shit from their shelves. Like that peach cookie. Nah, I guess I can talk to that girl. Okay. Most of them say nothing. Yeah... They're not very interesting. Unfortunately. I talked to some people here. Nah, I got some items to get. Anyway, let's go north across the bridge. Polka's house is over there, but I don't want to go there yet. What the? Oh. <laughs> there was a cat. Is he talking to his horse? Is he talking to the horse or the cat? I'm so confused! Also, why does he look like he's dying? It's like he's having a heart attack or something. <laughs> what the hell? What is the cuteness too much? Let's see, there's uh... Some very annoying items to find here. We got... I know there's... A thing there. Uh, and is then... Is there something like along the edge somewhere? Yeah, there's an angel trumpet somewhere around here. Now, angel trumpets are the revive items of the game. And there is no revive spell in the oh, game. Uh, she just said, oh, what's this? Sorry, I went through that fast. But uh, because there's no revive item, I like to have my item set with a lot of angel trumpets. Oh, we got a little scene here. Soap and Rano? Yep. Aha! Uh -huh. Did you get it? Soprano. I actually didn't know this scene was here. <laughs> really? Yeah. I just were just talk to them randomly. There's a lot of weird little scenes like that in the game. So I may not know them all. I'm sure we'll discover things that we never knew existed. Now where am I going? Alright, we're going into Polka's house and that's the end of this segment here. And then we'll be going into... Well... I was going to say strip uh, Polka's equipment, but she doesn't have anything, so... Oh, well. She's still only level 1. That's lame. Yeah, she's like 20 shy, remember? Oh, yeah. Oh, and uh, don't pay any attention to party level right now. Um, It means nothing right now. But, yeah, you can tell the, the, the basic mechanics. It tells you. So, pretty cool. It comes more important later on. There's yep. lots of kitties in this game. I know. I'm home. Welcome back, Polka. Oh, you must be exhausted. I've made some nice hot stew. You know, that kind of looks like a spider thing. I'm sure it does. I don't know. Mom, do you... Are you afraid to touch me? Uh, she was holding her hand, like, the whole opening cutscene. You used your magic in Retardando, didn't you? Yes, she yep. did. Yep. Why does everyone avoid me? They think you're a heathen. <laughs> you have to wear a scarlet letter. Because they think they'll get... Uh, or that. Touch, even though I've never read that book. Though it's not true. Why? Would they think you're gonna get sick? I'm, proof that it isn't true. I'm not really sure. Maybe she doesn't she, look she, sick. Maybe they think she's a witch and therefore she's I, I evil. Don't know. I don't know. Or I don't know. I, I'm not oh, she is dying. Illness, Mom. It's just, well, but she doesn't look like. For she's someone dying. that's dying, she looks remarkably no healthy. What I do, <laughs> I can't make any. Friends. Maybe it's like a brain disease or something. I don't know. I don't know. Polka. 
They actually never do a very good job of explaining it. What? She, maybe because she's got... She can do magic, they, that's what they They kind of explain it, but it, it still doesn't make much sense. Apparently it's nighttime now. They had to show us that. Yeah, now we're gonna... Ah, oh, here we go. Hold on, Riddle! Wait for me! What the hell are you doing? Hey, you! Where are you going with my bread? <laughs> well... What, are you gonna beat them with a broom? <laughs> those brats again maybe i should poison the dough next this seems time. awfully counterproductive and kind of extreme and bread's not that expensive so well maybe in this game it's man it's a good thing she didn't walk five feet to the right oh man <laughs> that would have been really tough the cat's confused who are these riffraff oh, boy. oh we got the best character in the game and I'm not talking about Allegretto. Easy? Jeez, if that's what you call easy, yeah, Beat's I awesome. He's one of the best characters in the game. <laughs> Don't worry. Come on. And I'm sure somebody's just be like, what do you mean? Uh, I thought Allegretto is. No. No, Beat's better. <laughs> For most of this game, Beat's a lot better. But I don't like the rats, down there. rats? Are we going to a sewer? Allegretto's really good, too, but Beat is ridiculous. Why are we going to sewers? And plus, he carries the mid game. You don't have to be a rat to want a bite of this. I guess so. But why are we going to sewers? What's down uh -huh. there? What do we do if we get attacked? I don't know. <laughs> you kick their ass with your awesome abilities. You rats get you all freaked out. Hey, I took care of them the last time, didn't I? Yeah, I guess. Besides, the people lucky enough to live in houses Aren't the ones who need us to take bread to them. Oh. Some homeless people, huh? Well, I suppose every city has them. Gotta be the Robin Hood. And... We're here in... Town Eventually. number two. Retardando. Where Polga just was. And now no longer is. All right. So, there's not too much to do, but we can talk to people. Uh, if you need to... I don't think he's going to be joining the choir. <laughs> if the you church. need to heal up, you can go right in here. It takes a oh, while. Oh, this place. Yep, the Mandolin Church. And if you talk to the priest, I believe you can rest up. Maybe not yet. Well, he's saying things. There you oh, go. There it goes. Okay. Yeah, I thought you could rest up. So, yeah, if you need a free heal point, just have the priest to talk to you, I guess. Hey, did you notice that one light wasn't lit? That yeah. Really it has it's not important. They, they try to make it important, but it, it's not. But anyway, we want to walk down to the fountain. There's another angel trumpet in here. Oh, no, it's gold. Ten gold. Oh, no, sorry. There's a uh, angel trumpet over here. Buy these boxes. And that's all there is to it. Uh, I think there's a little bit better armor you could buy if you want, but... I'm not going to waste my money on it right now. Let's take a look at uh, Allegretto and Beat here. Allegretto is a melee fighter. Uh, he's a sword. He's got... Well, he does have one AoE, his Phantom Wave attack, which is not very good, by the way. He's much better in the light. Sun Slash is actually his second best ability in the game. Uh, well, his second best light skill in the game. Sadly. Yeah. Um, although it's actually really good for the whole game. Uh, Beat is a good Echo Builder, which I'll go over Echoes later, but... Uh, he's also an excellent damage dealer from range, and he is very, very good at spamming skills. <laughs> Rapid Shooter is his best dark skill in the game. Well, no, second best, because I think Vital Drain's probably better. But uh, this is his best damaging one in the game. And uh, Vivid Shot takes photographs. I'm not going to go over them in a normal playthrough, it's not necessary. Effectively, you take pictures of monsters, 
They develop, you get either an A, B, or a C rank. You sell them at a shop for money, preferably with a random photographer present, and you get money for them. Uh, but you get all the money you need just by fighting enemies, uh, unless you're on Encore mode, where you're going to want a lot more items. And then I would take pictures. Uh, they toned it down from the 360 version, because I guess the 360 version, even normal enemies would give you several thousand. Even for, like, a C rank photo. That's crazy. So yeah, it's much more, and it's really difficult. To yeah, you have a to ranks. you have to get A ranks, and you have to take like well centered photos. Um, There's no logic. I don't know how exactly it works, but I find that side view shots work better for some reason. But I'm not going to use it right now. So oh, you know, the pictures of a rat's butt or weird things like that. Yeah. Who am I playing as? Nobody. I forgot. Let's take care of these guys. Well, it wouldn't let you anyway right now because of the tutorial. What it is we have to do to fight again? What? Wait a minute. I thought I taught you all that. Yeah, I'm going to uh, well... skip this as well. So, you see that next on Beat's name? That means his turn is next. So, for Allegretto, uh, preferably go after enemies in the light. Uh, these guys are... Well, what are these guys called? Uh, they're called Fluorite Mouses. Or Fluorite Mice. Fluorite Mouses. <laughs> Fluorite Mouse. Uh... They can actually drop peach cookies, which is good. They have a long-range powerful attack called Air Shrinker. It's pretty rarely used. Air Shrinker. Uh, Ratty Charge is a charging attack. You can flick knockdown. That's where you fall down. Anyway, let's start attacking this guy. So for Allegretto, I want to uh, attack and then end my turn with Sun Slash. That's the best way to do it. Yeah, knockdown. If your character's knocked down and your turn comes up next, it'll take you a second to get up, which really sucks. But it doesn't affect you if your turn isn't up. But you won't be able to guard if another enemy attacks you. So I want to go into the uh, darkness here with Beat so that I have access to Rapid Shooter. Uh, sewer Drop is a long-range area of effect attack, and Ratty Heal heals around 500 HP. I think they have like 1,600 HP. Yeah, 1,690. But anyway, let's use Rapid Shooter. Now, you see how I did three hits that, that time? Uh, if I'm closer to the enemy, I'll do a four-hit version, which you would think would be better... But no, the three-hit version is indeed better. Uh, because each hit is massively more powerful than the four-hit version. It's not even close. So try to use beat from far enough range to get that animation to trigger. You're going to set me? Yeah, I'm looking for how to do it. I forget. I think it's under options. Yeah, player controls. Uh, I guess you could have Allegretto. So that's the way it goes for that. Beat is awesome. So, I'm gonna pound you fair and square. yeah, Allegretto is definitely better off. Now, you can use a skill with zero seconds left as long as you press the button while you're still in an animation. However, items, you actually cannot uh, do that. So, that's another reason why skills have a bit of an advantage there over items. So, you have to have at least 0.1 seconds left by the time you press the input of the button to use an item. Which is very weird. But anyway, we want to go to the end of this path to get a chest here. Uh, I do recommend fighting all the rats. They yeah, give a decent amount of experience. You better back off. I try to avoid Phantom Wave. Phantom Wave can hit twice if the enemy is... I think I hit both of them. Yeah, you did. Yeah, look at that damage. Uh, that glowing tail inflicts the shining body status. Uh, it creates a little light circle around you, forces you to use light skills. It does have its uses, although I don't use the item. But I use accessories that do the same thing. There's also a dark version as well. But yeah, Phantom Wave can only hit twice if their enemy is really large. You can get three of those off if them. you're good. Oh, he's got the light around him. Yeah, he's got a light around him. So these enemies have uh, a light on their tail that pretty much means you're almost always going to use light attacks. Although Phantom Wave is... Oh, what am I doing? Phantom Wave is a long-range attack, so you can use it from that, from range. I'd only use it if you really had no other option. Uh, we want to try to get to level 4. 
There's a rat over here that I want to kill. See, like, right there... You could use Phantom Wave on those two guys. Or you could go after him. So, uh, Beat, if you go up close, uh, he does this. Which is slow, not too effective, so I don't recommend doing that. But one of the weird things about Beat is that uh, his long-range attacks have a minimum damage of 1. Now, I know that sounds like, who cares? But you have to do at least 1 damage to build an Echo later on in the game. So that's actually a huge advantage for Beat. Even when he can't... I don't know. But there's the 4-hit version of Rapid Shooter. Yeah, that was much weaker. But, uh, yeah, I mean... If you do zero damage, it doesn't count as an actual hit, as far as the game mechanics are concerned. And that's important later on for Echoes. So, the fact that Beat will always do one damage with his long-range attacks... ...is very useful. Yeah, Beat's awesome. I love that freaking character. He's, he's awesome in battle. So, we go, uh... Let's see. South, take a right, and there should be an angel trumpet down here. Also a rat. Come on, come on, come on! Should be able to hit both of them. Yeah, Sun Slash has got a couple different. You gotta mash circle so you face the enemy. Oh. Yeah, you can kinda turn towards the enemy if you keep mashing guard. So, still mash guard if you're not getting the prompt at all. I thought there was a chest down there. I guess not. Well, this is the poison white cap, I know that. Oh, I know where it is. It's in the previous screen. It's right down here. Don't get caught. I guess I'll show off how to... If you're interested in taking Beat's photos. So if you want to take a photo with Beat, just I recommend going up to the side, get pretty close. Take a picture that's centered, side view shot, and that should be a good picture. Now, if the game comes back and gives me a C rank after that, I'm going to be really mad. Just use Phantom Wave. See? Phantom Wave sucks. Wow, these headphones are ridiculous with those loud sound effects. Yeah, isn't it? <laughs> Sounds like freaking surround sound. I know it does. Okay. Now we can keep going. I don't think we're going to take on the boss right now. But, uh... Now we'll take on this guy. You can probably get both of those guys. Not exciting. Ten to the two, but that worked. Uh, it worked okay, but I think you would have out damaged it with. Sun Slash is a long animation, so. But yeah, it's really good. We'll be using it for the entire game. Not too shabby. Your leveling will really slow down. Quickly. Yeah. You get way more experience in the 360 version. You'll beat the game at closer to level 60. Whereas here you'll be lucky to be around 40-ish. But anyway, we got a switch here. This is a very complicated puzzle. You press the switch and it opens up this gate. Right next to it. I know. What is the point like of that? People to figure out. I, I don't understand the point. That's an insult to myself. I noticed. Anyway, we got one last chest here. Because if anybody knows me, they know yep. I can't solve a puzzle to save my life. 
I'd like to get to level 4. Yeah, sometimes that happens. So let's go ahead and use uh, Beat's no long range attack. So, yeah, that's his long range attack. They're individually weaker than his short range attack, but they're way better at building echoes later on in the game. And I'll go over echoes again when it's relevant, but... They're not relevant right now. So, I think I'm going to do a little bit of farming to get to level 4. I do recommend getting to level 4 before the first boss. It doesn't take very long. You get a useful ability for beat. You don't have to, but I recommend it. Plus, you get some more items. And uh, these guys will drop... Well, they're dropping peach cookies, and they're useful. You're not gonna beat me. Yeah, see? We'll only be a couple of battles short. So. Let's just, uh... Well, yeah, let's just... We can do a little bit of grinding. Normally I do it off screen, but I think it'll only take like a minute. <laughs> yeah, I, I think you got them. They're dead. Again, these battles will actually take longer than 10 seconds, eventually. We should only have to fight one more. Maybe two, I don't know. Need 59 yeah, more experience. Yeah, it depends experience. on how many rats show up, I guess. If there's three, then we'll be good. Oh, well, we got lucky. You fair and well, I think it's fixed. It, it the, Each battle's fixed, depending on which one you run into. I don't think it's randomized. Yeah, sort of one of the problems with this game is there's not very many enemies in general, which is just bizarre. You blocked precisely zero attacks. Well, I didn't do any test runs with you, so I got you used to it again. You're not gonna beat me. Wow, I just turned on my chat volume and I just heard everything twice. I'm just gonna keep on fighting. Now we get Sky Divider for Allegretto. It is not nearly as good as Sunslash. I don't know why they give it to you. Conversely, I don't know why they give you Fire Blast, which is Beat's best ability in the game at level 4. Yeah, that was a mistake. But whatever, we're going to use it for the whole game. Um, you could use Sky Divider. The problem is it's less hits. And it deals way less damage. Well, not way less damage, but it deals less damage. It becomes more apparent as you get further on in the game. That Sun Slash is stronger, but even right now, Sun Slash deals more damage. Let's go beat the whatever we're fighting down here. I don't yeah. Know what it is. Well, Sky Divider can oh, wait, I know what it is. Not inflict knockdown else. more regularly than uh, Sun Slash can. But they both do inflict knockdown. It's just Sky Divider has an easier time doing it. So I guess we'll end this episode here, and next time we'll take on the boss. So this is Ryzen. And Liz. Thanks for watching. Take care.